Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's hadith is narrated by Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu. Wan Abi Huraira radiyallahu anhu qal qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laysa minna man lam yataghanna bil Qur'an rawahu al-Bukhari wa Abu Dawud. Qala jamhurul ulama ay lam yuhsin sawtahu qala ba'duhum lam yastaghanna bihi an ghayrihi. It has been narrated on the authority of Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that he who does not intone the Qur'an is not from amongst us. This hadith has been narrated by Al-Bukhari and Abu Dawud. Most of the scholars have said it means one who does not beautify his voice. Some have said that it means to have no need for anything besides it, meaning the Qur'an. There's also another hadith which mentions حَسِّنُوا الْقُرْآنَ بِأَصْوَاتِكُمْ فَإِنَّ الصَّوْتَ الْحَسَنْ يَزِيدُ الْقُرْآنَ حُسْنًا Beautify the Qur'an with your voices for indeed a good voice increases the Qur'an in beauty. We see the effect the Qur'an has on people when it's recited. Even non-Muslims when they hear the Qur'an they are left in awe amazement and in a sense of tranquility. And one of the unique aspects of the Qur'an is that millions of people all over the world recite the Qur'an in such melodious voices. And the amazing thing is that the tones and the tunes of the recitations are so different, even though the words are the same. And another point to mention is each time the Qur'an is recited, it feels fresh to the person who is reciting it. It doesn't become tiresome. Even though a person may have read the Qur'an multiple times in their life, this is the effect the Qur'an has on our hearts of peace, tranquility and serenity. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to have this effect that whenever we recite the Qur'an, we feel this peace this tranquility and this serenity.